picking up where we last left off, we want to show that the continuous functions form a Banach space, a complete linear space. So C is the continuous functions, 1, 0, 1. And we measure size using the soup norm. We'd like to show that if we have a Cauchy sequence, that it converges, just like in the real number system. So that's our goal, is we want to find the function f that the Cauchy sequence will converge to, and show that that f is continuous. So just to get an idea of what we're going to do, let's set up what do we mean by continuous? Of course, it means that the function values are small when the input values are small. Pre-image of open sets are open. What we know is that we have a Cauchy sequence. Write down the definition for that. Eh, we'll just sketch the definition, how about? So we know that in the tail of the sequence, the distance between them is small. given any epsilon, I can find a cutoff so the tail is all crammed together. Here's the key fact for uniformity is that cutoff does not depend on the point we choose. We can use the same cutoff for x and for y. So let's do our little spitballing. So we want to estimate this quantity. Well, that's going to be the limit of my sequence. And if it's good for x, it's good for y. And another point, so it'll be another sequence. And then I just got to connect them together. So my add zero tricks over and over again, connecting the f sub n's to the f sub m's. So here, I've got the same function. And I know it's continuous. That'll connect my points together. And then all the other pieces are just from the fact that the sequence is Cauchy. So I think we're pretty much set. Cauchy sequence of real numbers converges to a real number. That's how we'll define our function f. So that's our first task, is actually define f precisely. Here we go. So I want to have a function, so x goes in and what comes out. Once I do that, that's defining a function. So we start with let x be given. Now we use Cauchy. There's our uniformity. So we know that goes to 0 as n and m go to infinity. So this sequence of real numbers, f and x, converges. Call the limit a. That'll be our output value for the function. So we're trying to show continuity for the function. We have the function existing. Now we just have to show it's continuous. So we're on the definition. Let epsilon be given. Choose a delta. Got to fill that blank in. Y be given with x minus y less than delta. And now we do our little estimate that we set out, we already set out. So I'm going to break it into four pieces. 
triangular inequality and break up the absolute values. Connect to Fn, Fn connect to Fm, and then Fm connect x to y, and then connect Fm to f of y. There we go. So three of them will use uh, our Cauchy criteria, and then one of them will use our continuity criteria. So for the first one, there's a cutoff. So everything past the cutoff is with an epsilon of the limit. We know that limit exists. So we know fn x converges to f of x. Here we'll use our Cauchy criteria. This it works for the soup. It works for any point, particular x. There's our continuity criteria. So there's the delta we'll use is exactly the delta for fm at that x. And then the last one, we know that at y, it also converges to some number f of y. So there's some cutoff where the tail goes down. Now, just to make sure our quantifier is in the right order, once we have epsilon given, we can get our cutoffs. Choose our maximum cutoff, and then choose any n and m in the tail. So now all our three estimates work. Now delta is defined because m is already given. And there we have it. C01 is a complete linear space, a Bonnock space.